Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Daisy Ridley may best be known for playing Rey in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. She's now inspiring another generation of moviegoers with the true story of swimmer Trudy Utterly in Young Woman and the Sea. It's in a theaters and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. When Trudy was a young girl, she survived a horrible bout with the measles. At the same time, a shipwreck off the New York coast left no survivors. Trudy's mother, who's played by Jeanette Hayne, insisted that all three of her children would learn how to swim. Trudy and her sister Mag, who's played by Tilda Cobb Ham Hervey, took an interest in swimming, even when their father, who's played by Kim Bodnia, really refused to have his girls swimming. Trudy persisted and started winning race after race after race. A trip to the 1924 Summer Olympics in Paris doesn't quite go to plan, but Trudy still kept going, setting her sights at swimming the English Channel when most men failed at it. The film also stars Stephen Graham and Glenn Fleshler. The Young Woman and the Sea sounds like it has this generic title, but writer Jeff Nathan Nathanson adapted from the book of the same name by Glenn Stout. Now this joins the company of many Walt Disney Studio films that are based on inspiring true stories, like Cool Runnings, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, Million Dollar Arm, and many, many more in the couple, last couple of decades. They're all stories of perseverance and the underdog not giving up despite all the pressures around them. Now you may also draw comparisons to Nyad about long distance swimmer Diana Nyad that's also that's on Netflix. Director Joachim Roning has played in the Disney sandbox before with his entries in the Maleficent and Pirates of the Caribbean franchises. He knows that his audience for a young woman and the sea will be younger kids and really keeps it moving at a really brisk pace to keep their attention. No scene lasts all that long before it's moving on to the next one as it traces Trudy's steps to getting to the English Channel. Composer Amelia Warner's score is constantly in motion, adding to that emotional through line. I couldn't help but feel, though, that this was kind of following kind of a generic template that so many of these other Disney true stories have taken, especially in the last couple of years. I really wish the script would have been more specific when it comes to the science and the questions of how she was going to accomplish this, what could she expect in the water, and why was this such a brutal endeavor? It bypasses all of this, I think, as to possibly not go over kids' heads. For me, there was really no question as to whether Trudy was going to accomplish this record-breaking feat, and I wish that the will-she-or-won't-she question had been pushed farther. Director Joachim Rowning seems more interested in playing up the themes of sisterhood between Trudy and Mag and just the blatant sexism that Trudy faced in 1926. Trudy is certainly the embodiment of girl power, which will ring true for all the young girls in the audience. Daisy Ridley is really smart casting, given that she's already been an inspiration to the Star Wars fandom. She really elevates the material, making Trudy someone that you're always rooting for. There's this effortless quality to watching her take on such a physically demanding role like this. Her scenes with Tilda Cobham Hervey as Meg really shine and provide the film that kind of extra amount of heart that it needs. The film certainly pulls at the heartstrings, especially during the climax. Now, I may not be the target audience for Young Woman and the Sea, but I know that young kids will be wowed by Trudy's determination. I'm giving Young Woman and the Sea two and a half out of five ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I have some of our movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and follow me on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. I'd love to hear from you. If you go see Young Woman and the Sea, let me know what your thoughts are on social media at Paul's Movie Trip, or just leave me a comment here on YouTube and go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Young Woman and the Sea. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.